All right, so today I'm surf fishing and we're gonna cook up a baby megalodon, but it's actually just a spiny dogfish. We've been looking for a couple of these big pompano that have been around, but uh, it's not in the cards for me today. And uh, we've been getting skunked hard on Atlantic Bonito, man. Hello. Be a drum. Oh, buddy. Silver salmon. God, it's been a very long time since I had to handle one of these things. And I really don't miss it. Well, we haven't done a catch and cook video in a little while, so, uh, uh, well. Here it is. So believe it or not, these things aren't that bad to eat. So that's a spiny dogfish. Right there is his spine. Um, we just caught it. Right now I'm gonna turn off the cameras uh, and we're gonna put this guy out of its misery. Uh, I will show you very briefly. Will involve two tools. Um, there's a lot of sensitive folks out there in YouTube land that, that do not know what the average dogfish goes through by the hands of the average fisherman. If you want a real taste of reality, go see how the average person handles a dogfish. But anyway, what's important with these guys is to really just um, clean them right away. Got them, they tend to secrete urine through their skin. We're gonna gut them, take his head off, and just put him on ice. And we'll deal with him a little bit later. Um, yeah, chalk bite's not too good. It's uh, loaded with dogfish, so. Um, but yeah, we got like four whiting and couple dogs so spiny dogfish are fish and chips in england i think around here they use pollock or haddock whatever one of those two yeah let's take care of it right now all right so first thing you're going to do is yeah we want to get make sure it doesn't get a chance to secrete all its crap out of it on it uh, on you and really get that that bile into the meat oh this thing's kind of gross so he's got a hot gut. That's the term, I guess you can say. Um, hot gut. And afterwards, we'll fillet him up. But yeah, that's it. That's all you really need to do here. And then you can just take out your fillets as normal. And that's it. Took a minute or two. Filleted him out. I mean, gutted him. I'll fillet him when I get home. Um, yeah. Simple, simple. We can put them with the rest of these critters in here. Got a, kept a couple whiting in there. I thought that was gonna be what we were gonna do here, but there you go. Just pack it in ice pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're not getting too many big whiting, you know, 12 inches. But yeah, pack them in ice and you're good to go, man. Oh, that's the last of the dogfish, man. I, I, don't, I don't miss those things. Forgot about uh, the fact I might run into Benny Jaws out here. I totally forgot about Benny Jaws. Oof. Ah, that's awful. But it was only 99 cents a can, so you take what you get. Certainly do. Midday and we're catching some, uh, you know, some 12 inch whiting. So uh, we're gonna hang out here, catch some dinner fish. Just keep busy, man. Uh, crack a couple beers and tell some stories. Oh. Got myself a little chicken there. These guys are good too, man. Bow toads. Uh, whitings and dogfish. Oh, are we gonna double up? Are we going to double up on the blow toads?
There it is, folks. The double header. Well, I guess uh, we're catching whatever's around, right? Can't deny that. Oh, this freaking thing down there, man. All right. Sea moats. So that was my first time using fish bites also. Uh, they're not bad, man. Uh, you know, if I stuck with meat, I would just be swarmed with dogfish. It's not like I did that much better. There's a lot of good fishing headed my way, but it's just been a tough April, man. That's how it goes sometimes. We didn't get the big blues, and the bonito was tough. Um, so April's been a really tough month for me uh, in terms of the fishing. All right, so... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna soak this guy in milk. First, we're gonna complete the filet. Oh, there's really not gonna be much meat on this thing, so um, here goes. Um, honestly, I'm okay with that fat here. It's just gonna be enough for a pan full, really. Got some of his reproductive junk on there. Okay, that's junk, right? We could dump that. Yeah, I could smell uh, something unpleasant right here. <laughs> something don't smell too good there. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the stomach. I don't want anything to do with the stomach lining. Portion that down. Something like that seems about right. Not gonna lie, it smells like. Okay, so supposedly soaking your uh, dogfish or your skates overnight should, in theory, draw out any ammonia flavor. Got a little chunk of red meat there. Um, that should remove it. It's got an interesting color flesh. I don't remember it like this last time. It's really like pale white, but almost like sickly white. All right, so we'll, we're gonna soak that overnight, you know, maybe like 12 hours, something like that. And we're gonna fry it up tomorrow, see how it comes out. All right, and we just recently did both whiting and puffer fish. Um, I got a couple more whiting to clean up. I only got one puffer today, so I guess maybe they're starting to move out. Water's getting warm. Some of the best uh, eating inshore fish right here. Uh, so here we are one day later. Uh, here's whiting, which looks like a normal fish, translucent. translucent. And that's your dog. So I'm gonna flour and batter it, serve with some potatoes and mushrooms on the side. Super simple dish. Um, so we took it out of the milk. There is no odor to it. I recall the smooth dogfish having a little bit of a funk to it. Um, it's still, it's got like this sickly white look to it. I don't know how else to explain it. Oh, I got a little bone uh, layer of pin bones in here too uh, that I missed. I feel it right now. So there are there are some pin bones right there. Or something pin bony. Yeah, it's got its own like feel to it. Uh, that's I guess kind of unique. Uh, but yeah, I will do a basic beer batter. And we'll spice up the potatoes and mushrooms with all the other stuff. Um, and I'll show you the batter, what I'm going to do to it. It'll be pretty simple though. Okay, so step one, we're just going to roll these guys in some vanilla flour, as in plain flour. Um, okay. Okay, so our batter, and we'll return to that PBR. Um, you don't have to use any sort of fancy beer to make a beer batter. And we're gonna just whisk it till it's thick. There we go, that 
it's about the right consistency. Good amount of crushed red pepper. Some sriracha sea salt. This stuff tastes pretty good. It's like a very spicy salt. Really spicy, actually. And finally, a good dose of lemon juice, too. Of course, we'll need a little more flour after adding some liquid, but you get the point. There you go. So, uh, yeah, that's our potatoes and mushrooms. We just season that with dill, garlic, uh, pepper, I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese to it as well. A little browning action. As soon as that oil gets hot enough, we're gonna batter our dogfish whiting, fry it, drain it, and serve. Should be good. All right, uh, that's our whiting, which fluffed up very nicely. Our dogs are coming along. Uh, looks pretty good, no smell. Um, frying it up and our potatoes are done. So uh, let's eat. So there it is. That's our whitings, dogs, and they're draining and they're ready to be served in a, just a little minute or in another minute or two. I'm letting it cool off. So it should be good. Okay, here we go. That's our potatoes and mushrooms, some lemon, and our fish is ready to be tried. And we have the rest of that in case it's that bad. And I picked up a local tartar sauce. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, I don't think I've had the spiny dogs before. I've had the um, uh, the smooth dogfish last time, and that was good. I mean, it was. I wouldn't say it was amazing. Uh, the prep work behind it was kind of the turnoff. Same thing with this. I'm not too into the amount of time you have to, you know, between gutting it and soaking it in milk. Maybe the milk thing you can skip. I'm not sure. But let's try the whiting first. Right. As we know, very good. That's the, the, the standard, right? The standard barrel. So actually, I was reading up on it a little bit. North Carolina does have a pretty big um, commercial fishery for uh, these dogs, so uh, spiny dogs. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So. Here it goes. This is first time really trying it fried, actually. So it's my take on fish and, fish and chips. Uh, not bad. Um, it's not as flaky. Or flaky is not the word. Um, I don't know. It doesn't have the, the same texture as a, a cod substitute does. It's still not bad, though. Um, it's very soft, I would say. It's almost like you stuck it in a food processor first and then fried it. That's how I would describe it. So it's like, it's like it feels like it's been blended already. As opposed to a, a fish that's... Still in its original form. I think that's the terminology I'm looking for. It really doesn't have a flavor, period. Um, it, the, the batter is certainly the flavor I've put on it, lemon juice. Um, it's pretty flavorless in that regard. No ammonia bite to it, nothing like that. You know, being that the, the five choices here inshore that are pretty accessible, uh, I would say flounder, black drum, redfish, Sheep's head and speckled trout, I would say all of those are better than this, right? It's like imagine frying up a tuna salad, a deep frying it, and you have that texture. And it's a little bit softer and like, feels like, yeah, pre-mayonnaised fry. That's how I would describe it. I don't know, it's a weird way to, it's a weird way to describe it. Um, the whiting is definitely better. Um, so I said I compared it to drum, the two drums, flounder, speckled trout as being the five inshore fish you can get up in uh, North Carolina. I'd say in New York, right, or New Jersey region, your, your five fish is bluefish, weakfish, striped bass, porgy, and flounder, right? I'm sure we're missing one or two, tog and sea bass, of course. Um, I would say it's better than bluefish around weakfish. 
I would say it's around weak fish. Very similar thing to me personally, texture thing that I'm not too crazy about. Still not bad. Uh, good way to get the kids fishing. Um, you know, I wanted to see how fish and chips with spiny dogfish really was, um, aside from, you know, just making a silly video, but I was kind of curious to really give you the end, my end result of what I think of it. And it's okay. We caught fry up a couple more of those whiting in a second. Um, Spanish mackerel should be here soon. So even though Bonito was kind of a, a disappointment, um, Spanish max and so and reds and all that stuff. So I'm about to hit my good spring fishing. I'm hoping uh, But uh, yeah, I have a recipe how I prepped that um, It actually was a very good recipe, too. So thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you soon. See ya